for sure is more stiff and more responsive. When you push the pedal, the bike goes. It's totally different from the previous bike. I am excited to ride more. The bike was designed to do one thing, and that's to win. When you talk about uh, the V, you have to think about uh, a bike without any kind of compromise. We are talking about a racing machine for winning customer. We had in mind a bike built to do just one thing. The V series uh, uh, was introduced for the first time in 2014. A monocoque carbon frame designed to satisfy the most demanding customer. These cyclists are very attentive to the performance weight ratio. The ambition for this bike was to improve on the already very successful V3 RS. And the main focus areas were obviously aerodynamics and um, responsiveness, uh, power, power transfer. And you also want to improve on weight, but that was not the top priority. It's always a balance, right? You want to have the best possible um, outcome and balance all these parameters and not just one. You know, the road bike design is very subtle, right? And the silhouette itself is quite similar to the previous one, but when, when you get a bit closer to the bike, you will see that all the junctions are modeled in a, in a softer way, more organic way, a bit more uh, Italian, if you like. And we also put a bit of emphasis on trying to make the fork belong to the frame so that it looks like one unit. At first glance, you also see that it's more aerodynamic. So we spent some time in the wind tunnel and what we learned there was that the new bike is clearly better, but with the combination of the new wheels and the new cockpit, it's way better. It's really, really like, that's a big difference. And it's really the, the combination of all those things together, not just the frame. Do I think we have made a winning bike? Um, yeah, the answer is yes. I think we have made a winning bike. The predecessor was already winning, and this one is clearly better. So I think um, it's a good tool for the team to, to win races on, yeah. I think the big improvement of this uh, model is that the, the geometry is changed between the U3 to the U4 bike. Because uh, now the frame is more aggressive, it's more, uh, the reach is, is longer, the stack is a little bit lower, so it's a, really a, a bike to go faster. One of my job is a biomechanical part, okay? Uh, my job is to uh, put the, the riders in the correct position in their bikes. So for me it's very important the geometry and to adjust the bike to each rider. So this frame for me is and make me the, the work easier to get the correct position for each rider. So in this uh, way, this bike is more easy to work and more easy to adapt to the rider. So it's a good job from the engineers of Colago. Today was the first rider that uh, used the, the prototype. Today is a very smart guy, very sensitive. He has a lot of feelings on the bike. He's a big champion. So every material, every, every change, he, he wants to try to analyze, to push to the limit. So with today, we have a big feedback, very important feedback to develop the new bike. We have a very, very exigent uh, rider to, to, to test all the materials, all the, all the changes. V4 RS is really light and stiff bike, really responsive, so for me that's good on the climbs. It helps to, to attack faster and uh, for sure this helps in the, in the peloton, in the fast races. We display a lot of uh, attacks together with this bike. My first impression was great. It's totally different from the previous bike. It seems uh, it's lighter, but especially lighter in the front. 
So through the cornering, especially downhill, it's much more lighter and faster. We are descending really fast and uh, you need a really good bike on the, on the downhill. Uh, responsive, uh, also uh, good in, in the curves, not, not fragile for the high speeds. So yeah, V4 Harris is really good, uh, really good bike for me on the downhills. I feel uh, confident and uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. The front fork, it's way lighter. So you really feel that all the heaviest part, it's on your back. This means you don't have to put a big effort in driving the front. And also the handlebar in the middle is flat. You can really grab it. So even if you are riding in the climb, putting massive watts, it's really comfortable. I got the prototype already in May and I've been riding it a lot since. Uh, it was a key point to, to the tour that we check if everything is okay. And it's a really nice bike. It's like Colag always say, a piece of art. So all the team had this bike and we proceed on with the tour. Our bike is just perfect for that. Already with the older bike, I felt really comfortable. Now the next step is just ride, just to enjoy, because you don't have to put any effort. Also the wheel set, it's perfect balance and the perfect speed to go through corners and really steep downhill. Colnago has an incredible legacy. We have a roll of honors that is rich of incredible achievements. 23 gold medals, 63 world championship, 23 grand tours, more than 40 classic monumental wins. Developing standout bikes, it's our commitment and responsibility in front of our customer. All the other attributes, all the other characteristics are important, but are secondary. With this bike, we want to win.